Ahoy there. Ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. I don't know. Like ahoy hoy. Ahoy hoy. It would be separate. It would be separate Jewish things. Jewish boats. They're like, ahoy oi. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's like, oh, hi. Yeah. I didn't mean <laughs> to say hi to that guy. Ugh. He's going to talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Ah. I'm already. Like, I don't even know oh, a boat. I'm getting anxious about Bob. this already. Ahoy, bye. <laughs> that's Bill. It looks just the same from behind. I had the perfect interaction Hi, with my neighbor. How's your goiter? Oh no, I wasn't <laughs> down there. I had the perfect interaction with my neighbor across the street today. Oh yeah. Not 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 Toby. Not Toby. See, I no, know Toby. that guy's name now. I know Toby's wife, whose name we don't know. Um, to, to, lovely, lovely people. Toby lovely people. Shayla. Lovely people, um, and um, but she was out. She was like sweeping outside or something, and I was going to my car. Both of us were like I had places to be, and she had stuff to sweep. And so, like you and do. it was just like the perfect like. There wasn't even a how you doing. It was like a, hey. Like, we'd just seen each other. Like, you know, when you're passing somebody in the office. Remember those days when you were in yeah, the office? Yeah, when you're passing yeah, somebody in the office you've seen, stuff. like, three times already today. And so you just basically say, like, hey, you know, like, because yeah. it's weird to say, hey, yeah, how you doing? Like that after sort of seven minutes. Upward nod kind of thing. Uh, yeah, this, so. was, this was more than, like, the upward nod, but, like, the hey. Um, that was perfect. I just thought, as I climbed in my vehicle, closed the door, and I thought to myself, you know, that's somebody who gets it. <laughs> right. It's nice when you find them. <laughs> they, they must be raising people properly and down under. Whatever. Down under. Yeah. So, um, yeah. how you doing? You doing well? I'm doing okay. Yeah. 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 I, um, I just got out of... Is my head big enough for you? Do I need to enlarge? Oh, it is plenty big enough for me. Do I, yeah. I feel like I'm never... Uh, I always feel like my... I gotta, like, give you more. Um... <laughs> Give me more um, what, Jason? Um, more, more. <laughs> yeah, I just got out of a, out of the uh, the SAG membership meeting, and it was, of course, in on Zoom. And uh, the how many people <laughs> are in that? The, that is, about 50 people in there oh my goodness. for this and so that i mean our, the membership around here is probably in the hundreds but um, oh, it's regional it's like local or something yeah yeah or? it's just just uh, <laughs> for the miami local yeah but um it was hilarious because it was the first time they've tried to do a zoom meeting and the president guy was like i i think maybe it was the first time he had ever encountered <laughs> online polls and so he assumed everybody else was that same way. And so it was like every time there was a poll, like the fifth poll that showed up, he would do the same shtick. He would be like, all right, uh, we're putting up the poll. And then uh, it's this is the question about have you signed up for the, for the, uh, the direct deposit? All right. And then you're going to see a yes. And if you've signed up for the direct deposit, you're going to click the yes. And if you have not yet signed up for the, for the direct deposit, then, then you click on the no. And then you got to go down to the bottom and there's a submit button down there in the bottom and you got to push the submit button. And then we can see the results of the poll or you guys answering the question about if you've done the direct deposit or not. And it was like 10 polls through the whole <laughs> meeting. And it goes through this, this thing as though each one of them was the very first time, not just the first time during this meeting, you're just joining but the us. first time on planet Earth that anything <laughs> like an online poll in a, in a uh, Zoom meeting has ever happened. And it was, it was like, oh my God. It's like, you know, I'm sure he's a brilliant actor, <laughs> but wow. Maybe maybe that's what maybe it was a bit. I hope it was maybe, a bit. Maybe he's, he was, he was very bit. committed to the bit. If it was, a bit. was a bit. So wait, so are you telling me that we could do? I could do a poll. I could I could take a poll right now. I could do a poll. Uh, apparently, and, oh, and it was it was done in the capability. seminar or the webinar kind of uh, fashion. So maybe it's just available for that because there's a buttload of us, and we don't, you know, there's not going to be <laughs> a whole bunch of little postage stamp sized pictures of. A bunch yeah. of actors going, ah, 
I mean, I can turn on closed captioning. I can. Oh, there's reactions. Yeah, that, I, I bet that. that's fun. <laughs> oh, look. You, you know what? This this could be handy for you. No pun intended. In the future, you could. There's a raised hand reaction. Oh. Did you know that? <laughs> can, you, can you shut up for a second? I got a thing I want to say. <laughs> Call it the Marcus hand. For now Please, God, I'll... make it stop, button. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have to look into the poll thing because that'd be fun. I would take a poll. So we're gonna take a poll, Marcus. <laughs> Out of one respondent. How do you feel? One hundred percent for. I heard that Can today. Can we move on, on please? I heard that fly today on a podcast. They said um, uh, there are those. There are two kinds of people. Those who can draw a conclusion from a limited set of data. <laughs> yeah, I think I've heard that one. I love it. <laughs> That's, Especially yeah. considering my day job. Like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, there are more of the second one. <laughs> you mean there's a second? <laughs> oh. So, um, I always oh, liked as, oh, a, as a computer nerd, I always liked the there are 10 kinds of people in the world those who understand binary and those who don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so, uh, I think I just got that. Um, so, <laughs> so I also discovered another thing today when I, when I launched Word, which I don't do that often because I'm. <laughs> Thank much. God! Why did you do that? Because <laughs> there's some. Because there's there's these people, typically like <laughs> lawyers and real estate related people, who mm -hmm. they like the track changes feature, you know. Oh, the redlining and, so, and all that. And, yeah. like, and, and you know, as much as I try to get them to to use a, a Google document so they can actually like we can just edit in real time and do suggest mm -hmm. edits, they like you know I'm not gonna try to teach somebody new tricks. So um, I. So anyway, I opened this document up just just because that's where it was in Word, mm -hmm. and Word informed me of a new feature, at least new to uh -oh. me, and that was its dictation 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 feature, um, which also now apparently has uh, auto punctuation. Oh, like it in, sort of infers punctuation from what you said. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. Interesting. And I tried it a little bit. And it did. Not I mean, do. it was okay. I mean, it wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't great, but it's it's certainly better than doing the thing that I do when I'm talking to my phone. Yeah, where you when I'm texting. Well, I'm not really texting, but I'm speaking as I'm driving. I don't know whether I'm supposed to do that either. But anyway, I'll say like, <laughs> "Hey, you know, send a message to blah blah blah," and then it'll say, "What would you like to say?" And then I'll I say the thing, right? Or, but I also will do the thing where. Um, Instead of typing, I will just hit the little microphone button and do it that way yeah. too. Yeah. So and but then you're inserting commas and periods and stuff, um, and I'm always worried when I'm driving. I'm always so nervous about did it did it write the word comma or did it insert a <laughs> comma? <laughs> now I have to listen very carefully. And then start it, typing text messages to people and spell cool. out all the punctuation. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, the, thing, the thing is, if it's somebody like like me that who somebody <laughs> like me who, who 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 does that too, we I would actually appreciate it. I was like, oh look, yeah. he, like, he was trying to <laughs> use punctuation. That's so cute. Look at that. Um, I always feel like my stepdad when I'm doing that. Um, when I was growing up, uh, he he was and is a uh, uh, a lawyer and um, currently a federal judge, but he. Um, I would always like when he was driving us around places, he would always have his his little micro cassette recorder with him and mm -hmm. dictate letters or notes or memos mm -hmm. or whatever that his secretary would type up. And he would put the punctuation in there like that, you know, the. Uh, uh, a memo to Bob, uh, Bob, comma, I want to look over there and find out what's going on. New paragraph, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, right, right. And uh, and so when I'm when I'm dictating to my phone like that, I always feel like my my stepdad. It's kind of See? a weird feeling. It is a little weird, but then you get I, you kind of get used to it. But there's also this race against time effect where, yeah, you know, you think too she's long going to time out done. and then. Yeah. 
Like, but I'm, but I need to think of what to say. Like, I didn't have it all constructed in my head. You should have it where it doesn't do the countdown to cutting you off thing if you're going, uh... Right, yeah, as long as there's sound. that. Right. And then just wait for you because of that. Yeah, okay, so hold on. So I'm in Word right now, and, um... And, uh... I put a new document, and I'm gonna say... Um... I'm gonna say something. Hit. I'm clicking dictate, and I'm saying, oh, oh, hello. And I'm saying hello... Hello, hello. What a wonderful word. Hello. <laughs> oh, it inserted the period. That's interesting. Oh, it inserted another period. That's interesting too. Okay, so how long? I wonder if I just sit here. Uh, 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 it doesn't put that in. That's pretty good. That's yeah. pretty good. All right, I'm going to stop this now. This like is... way back when we were first starting to talk about this, um, I was screwing around with a uh, an app called Descript, and um, what was really cool about it is that you could put like the like we could put this whole episode in it. It would recognize your voice and my voice, and then like automatically generate a a transcript. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't do terribly well, and I think. Because you and I tend to talk over each other a lot. and so Oh, you've that tried kind of, this? Yeah, I threw it in there ah. just to see what would happen. I had to find it because it was one where I, um, I specifically knew that I had said something that I wanted to keep as the episode title, and I couldn't remember where in the episode it was. And so I threw it in there and, and searched uh, through it and found mm. it because of that. But one of the neat things it can do is it, it uses the, the transcript as the podcast waveform kind of. And so like if you go in and you highlight a, a, a word that it has transcribed and you delete that word, it'll cut that word out of the... the well, Premiere uh, Pro does that now. Yeah. It, it, oh, I didn't know that it yeah. would transcribe like that. Yeah. That's cool. Pro I need to check that, that out. You should but check um, it out. but no, one of the things you can do is just push this button and it eliminates all ums and uhs immediately. But then but that goes, takes Pink. away... Yeah, I don't like doing that. It takes but. away the, the the normal tone of conversation. People right, don't. and it's like deleting the deleting dead space or whatever. It's just like no, that's that's screwing up timing and things. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's and it just sounds funny. It sounds like you're you're in a car commercial or something. Whatever do you mean? <laughs> he goes, well, things are bad. I got this app. Text titles and fees. <laughs> <laughs> Rolled off your tongue a little too easily, Marcus. Hey, man, I spent eight years in commercial radio. I know what I'm going to say. You spent eight years in car sales. No, God, no. I actually, uh, at one point, I had contemplated car salesmanship mm-hmm. as a uh, as a possible really? career choice because when one is walking around with a bachelor's in theater, that... what does one do? Oh, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so I went to this thing, and I was just like the first seminar, and it was kind of like a, so you want to be a car salesman kind of thing. And I went in there, <laughs> and at the end of it, I was like, no, I do not. <laughs> so wait, there's, okay, so so let's talk about niche uh, careers. So there is somebody who's not really a car salesman, at least anymore. They are someone who leads a seminar for people who may want to be car salesmen. Well, I think they were specifically looking for car salesmen for, it was like a lot, like, I don't know, a chain Can you imagine of, you're like uh, a car dealerships for car dealerships. It was like a conglomerate of car dealerships, I think owned by the same umbrella yeah. company. And, and it was sort of this recruitment thing. Mm-hmm. They're like, we need new salesmen for this area. And so they threw the thing out there. And I was like, well, that's, uh, I might be able to do that. And I went in there and I listened to him. And I was like, I do not want to be that guy. <laughs> I am done. And no offense to car salesmen, but. Uh, not, well, yeah. no offense to some car salesmen. Some offense to Plenty some offense car salesmen, to- yes. <laughs> And you know who you are, I yeah, think. That's right. That's right. We've talked if about you. Can you use grease in your hair? Yeah, we're talking about grease, you. Like actual grease, or like and, and and have a gaudy like gold bracelet. Yeah. Well, that's we're talking about you. Um, knock it off. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, <laughs> I thought about this. I thought about this when I don't remember when I thought about this. It was in the past 20, 24 hours where I thought about this. Uh, somebody. It was it was some somebody I was like I was someone was talking and they were in a career of some sort 
don't know, was it an advertisement mm -hmm. or a news story? I don't remember what it was, but I remember the feeling. I remember listening to them and thinking to myself, oh my God, like I was, I was getting anxious and stressed out just thinking about what it must be like to have that job. Yeah. Like I felt bad. I, like I almost felt like I was trapped in this job <laughs> through some sort of weird, like empathetic response. And, and then it occurred to me that, oh, there's like so many jobs out there where I'm sure they would feel the same way. Like they think they like, you know, there's stuff that's happening mm -hmm. and, and you're, and you're watching it happen. You're like, I would never want to deal with that. I don't right. want to, I can't imagine having to deal with that. Right. But there's people who like, they love that. They like, they live for that thing. Yeah. Yeah. And, God, and I do that. I, it's kind of funny you bring that up because I've, I do that a lot. I'll, I will go, I will think to myself, like, I, I don't know. I mean, utterly preposterous scenario where suddenly I have to be a car salesman for some reason. And I'll be like, how would I deal with that? What Is would this I, like a recurring know? dream? Like no, it's not even a dream. I'll just be like pondering, like, God, I if I had to be a car salesman, I, I, how what would that be like? That would suck. I would have to do this, and I, I you know, something in me needs pants. to figure out what my game plan would be. <laughs> but it's just like stupid. But it's 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 junk like that where it's like, what if I have to do this job that would obviously suck? Oh, you know what, what job? What would I do? Like I, I could I just beginning my day when when I go. When I go outside to get the newspaper, mm -hmm. I think about like, man, there's somebody who had to drive around like well before any of us were up delivering these papers and making sure they got them to the right house. Otherwise, yeah. they're going to have somebody like me who got to sleep in, relatively speaking, calling to complain, potentially jeopardizing their job because they didn't get the newspaper to the right driveway. Right. But then mm -hmm. I think by but wait. There's probably somebody, probably not the same person, who had to stuff the bags and tie the bags. And if it's a rainy day, they double bag the bags. Like somebody had to do that even earlier in the day or in the morning, whatever. You, like, mm -hmm. and it starts to stress me out. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I um. And having worked at a newspaper, somebody oh. had to lay that sucker out at about 11 oh, o'clock at night. That's a, well, and it's a little different now. I mean, it's because it, there's the True. digital, it's all digital and they're, they're, they're pushing it out to local presses and so forth. But, um, cause I get the New York times of course. And so yeah, yeah. like they, they're not sending that from New York. I mean, they are, but they're not, they, they're not like yeah, yeah. printing it in New York and then putting it on the pony. Well, that would suck. <laughs> Can you imagine? All right, Every Bob, day. start driving <laughs> again. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a weekly. Well, hurry up and come back. I know. You got more to take down for tomorrow. <laughs> it's just a 12 hour. There's two guys. <laughs> and Let's just go back, back and forth. One sleeps right. one way, the other one sleeps. In Virginia, they like wave at each other. Oh, no, I was two guys in the same car. I was saying, I oh. was like, that way one can sleep and one, it's like, a, it's like, a, you know, it's like a Brink security truck. In fact, they probably are. Right. It probably is a security truck and a newspaper delivery. In fact, there's not even money in the back of it. It's just a whole bunch of newspapers, which is as it's good as like, money. It's kind of like back in the Napoleon times. And I'm sure pretty much now is uh, any kind of ship that goes out anywhere also has to take the mail with it you know sort of like planes and stuff do now and 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 it's like that bring security trucks and, I, and you're also taking new york new york times and cobblestones and cobblestones right and, so they had to yeah they had, did they, they offload had to the weight cobblestones yeah that's why you have so many like uh like around um old old port cities like mm -hmm. right around the port you have those streets they're all like lined with cobblestones and so forth because they would they would because they use them on ships yeah they would bring them they would load That's up the ships because cool. they were empty otherwise the ships were empty mm -hmm. relatively speaking i mean there were some stuff probably um anyway this is according to miss bartos from second grade who screwed up all like, like all sorts of other uh history related educational points for me but we're banking on the veracity of this particular nugget? yeah i think so <laughs> okay did i ever tell you about that did, did i talk about did I ever talk about Chris? I'm not going to use his last name in case he's um, this guy, Chris, who was in my class in second grade in history. No, I don't think so. I remember oh. Craig, but not Chris. I still to this day, oh, that was Craig. first grade. I, I still to this first day, to this first I still to this day 
feel like terrible for him. Terrible. For him. For okay. him. He, okay. So he was one of those kids. He wasn't really a friend, but he was like mm-hmm. an acquaintance in, in second grade. And um, if there was anyone in the class who maybe talked more than I did, it was him. And wow. he would get, and he would get into trouble all the time just for like stupid stuff. I think mm-hmm. he had some impulse control issues. Hey, some do. I I had daydreaming issues. He had impulse control. Like I went through yeah, the, I was uh, a daydreamer. We were on the same spectrum, but I went that way and he went this way and right. my way you end up with a similar result, but it's much it's much more it's um, internal. <laughs> it's just it's much pe- more peaceful, you know? Like, mm. <laughs> you don't get in trouble until the discovery that you didn't do anything. Right. <laughs> Whereas that kid's getting in trouble all along the path of not doing anything, you know, like and doing but wrong he's doing, things, right, right. <laughs> but it's the same net effect, right? Okay, right. except for the public ridicule, which I'm about to tell you about. So Oof. Chris Angle, Chris Angle was doing something. I don't know whether he was talking to somebody or I just use his last name. Don't back up and listen to it. Just forget I said it. So Chris was like talking about he was talking about something or maybe doing something and not paying attention. The teacher, Miss Bartos, calls him out and says. Chris, would you like to come up here? And no, 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 what that wasn't. It, she says, Chris, do you like know all the answers about blah blah blah? It was American history. And he's like, No. But I just she said, Why don't you what maybe you would like to teach the class? That's what it was. She calls him up. She calls him up to the front of the class and yeah. has him provide the instruction on how the Americas were discovered. Okay. Okay. He proceeds. To explain how Vikings came across from the north and down mm-hmm. through Canada, right? And mm-hmm. didn't go all the way in, but like, and he's, and, and the people are laughing. The students are laughing. The teacher's even laughing. Could, why ridiculing laughing? him. He's right. <laughs> well, and I saying, mean- Chris, go sit down. So this is why you need to pay attention. And he's crying. Oh. He's crying, tears, crying. And he sits down. And she then goes on to explain, you know, the version of the history that most people like our age or older in elementary school were taught, which had nothing to do with Vikings. We didn't learn yeah. that stuff. If you think about it, we didn't learn about that stuff until until later. And that's probably because we I were guess, social science majors still, of some sort, not because apparently we were, your teacher didn't learn it at all. Because no, this is the, this is the same at this teacher. Guy. I don't know if this is the same teacher or a different teacher. This may be the same teacher who also said that the reason that the states in the east are all like misshapen and odd, and the states in the west are like nice and square or rectangular, and like have clean angles, is because King George is crazy. Nothing about natural boundaries. Yeah, rivers and stuff. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> no, it's because I was like, yeah, thank you very much. I mean, King George was, was crazy, but, I like, but like, it correlation wasn't, that does wasn't, not mean yeah. causation. So, so poor Chris, like he, um, he was right. Yeah. But but the teacher didn't know that he was right, and so she she made fun of him and ridiculed. Yeah, uh, that's an outrage. And it was very sad. Outrage. If I was if I was his dad, I would be like. Oh hell no! I don't think there was. I don't think there was a dad in the picture. I think he was. It was a rough situation for Mm. Grim. I mean, but smart guy, clearly. Um, I mean, yeah, he's he's clearly kind of gotten them some extracurricular history going. I wonder if he remembers that. Oh, I'm sure he does. Something like that. Sometimes I think. Sometimes I think I'm the only one who remembers this. I'm the only. I remember it for them. Like I remember for Craig. I remember it for Chris. I'm the one mm-hmm. who remembers these things for them, maybe. Who's the, who's the one you push into the bush? I don't know his name. I'm, oh. sure, I'm not sure I remember that for him. He, he, was mm-hmm. probably, he's, he was too young to even have a memory. I'm, I was barely old enough to have a memory. Mm. You know what I mean? You reach that point where you're like, I mean, there's that, oh, there's yeah. that, there's that event horizon <clears throat> of some sort where anything before that, you, there's no chance of remembering. And then oh, yeah, yeah. as you go, out, you go beyond it, you start to remember more and more and more. He was well. He was well inside because, like I said, I think he was like two years old. It's horrible. I can't even believe I did it. 
So let's let's uh, go through all of the different children that you oh. <laughs> traumatized. No, I can't do that. I wasn't. Oh. Um. Well, I hate that for Chris. I, I do. I yeah, mean, I you do know, too. We, we we can get into the whole. I mean, why did you, you even bring it up? Discover it. I think the you know the First Nations probably discovered it before Leaf or uh, well, Earth they, Red. Yeah, but, they kind of founded it, right? I mean, but we can you know. <laughs> Yeah, he at least knew that some Vikings came over before old Christopher Colombo came over with his dirty Mac. His dirt, his what? His, his dirty Macintosh cover co- uh, coat, Colombo, Christopher Colombo. Oh, now I'm with you. Yeah, uh, you were really mixing a lot of stuff yeah, together. You knew, you knew land here. Oh. Uh, if I'm bothering you, I'm sorry. So, so, so Christopher Columbus that's, that's my Columbo and impression. is the same voice as the guy as the sad guy from Miami. Yeah, Peter Falk actually is both. Uh, All three, in (laughs) fact. (laughs) Okay. Is he still alive? He's not alive. No, he's not. That's sad. (laughs) He is split into three different entities. Oh, it's like a a horror horror crux or something. Is that what it is? He's an interdimensional being. Most Um, people didn't know that about Peter Falk, and it's not on his IMDb page, but... Well, not yet. Anyway, I'm gonna edit. You can that. edit. Those guys. <laughs> <laughs> do you have edit? Do you have edit rights to that page? <laughs> if not now, he will. That's for sure. That <laughs> is, faux show. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna tell you a story. Oh, good. I like stories. And I don't. I don't know. I don't know how many. People know. I, I, I'm not even sure Michelle knows this story. Uh oh. I know. I know one of my best friends knows this story, but I don't, because he because I worked with him, so he 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 actually he actually participated in this story. Yeah. So of course he knows about it. But um, nearly 20 years ago, when I was working in, in, in this is in the outskirts of Baltimore, and I was in, a, in an office building environment um uh i would go down to lunch on the first floor we were like up on the 10th floor or something i go down to the first floor for lunch like the little cafeteria thing and i would get my lunch and i'd usually sometimes i'd eat down there half time i eat down there half time i'd bring it back up and um every once in a while around that time that lunch time period I would pass this guy who's like, who's, I guess, sort of my age. It's hard to know. I mean, I was in my late, late 20s at the time, I guess. Um, and, uh, I, and, and, and at some point, you know, we would say like the whole, like the nod thing, like the hi, say hi mm-hmm. in the hallway kind of thing. Um, I didn't know him. He was just friendly, but he was there all the time. So I assumed he worked there. Um, uh, and I think at some point I also realized he didn't, he wouldn't just work there. He worked for there. He worked like for the building, I think. Oh, right. Gotcha. I don't, now I don't know whether he was like a maintenance guy. He seemed more than a maintenance guy. He wasn't like ever doing like maintenance things, but he was kind of just always like doing something different, mm-hmm. you know? So maybe he was like part of the, the, like the building management team or something. Anyway, one day, um, one day we're walking, I walk past him and he says to me, Hey Rob. Yeah. Hey who? Hey Rob. Rob. Uh Oh, and that was my moment. Like that's the moment <laughs> where I could have just stopped you don't handle this it all. Now, you're Rob. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because, and you know me, you know me, I just was celebrating this person, like my neighbor just was like, hey, you're like, I'm on my way somewhere, you're on your way somewhere, I'm not interested in having a conversation, like, you say hey, I say hey, you say how you doing, hey, how you doing, right? You say hey, Rob, I know it, but mm-hmm. how invested am I in fixing this at this point? Like, right. I don't really work with him. I just have this passing relationship with him. Like, it's not even a relationship. I just, like, I pass him every once in a great while. It's not even like every day kind of thing. It's not like I see right. him all You're the time. 
Your circles overlap, but not much. But not right. So like, is it really a problem if I just uh, just ignore the fact that he said Rob? And maybe I'd even hear it right. All of these right, things yeah. are going through my head at that moment in time, right? Like I'm just. So I just I'm just like hey. Keep walking. At some point in the in the near, you know, not so distant future, he, it happens again. I pass him. Hey, Rob. Hey. Rob. It happens two or three times. Okay. <laughs> not correcting him any of those times. Right. Well, I mean, because, you know. So, <laughs> one day, I get in the elevator with him. Or like I was getting in and he was there and he did he's in there and he's like, Hey Rob and like and then he gets off on the next floor. I'm like and I and I'm like I'm in now, I'm Rob. I'm totally Rob. I'm like owning this I don't even know this person I don't know this person who I'm owning, but like he thinks he must see he must think highly of him because he's not he's, he's never like, Hey Rob and punch me in the nose or something like that. Hey, uh right. Rob. So then and it was probably around this time that I informed my friend, my best friend, that like, hey, this is happening. And he <laughs> thought it was the funniest thing in the world. He thought it was great. Okay. So then I'm leaving. We had a parking garage below the building. And, I, and I'm leaving the parking garage one day. And guess who's manning the little booth? Uh. To where you get you know, your little ticket thing and get out. <laughs> the guy that renamed you. It's the you. guy. Yeah, it's the guy. <laughs> and I see him, and I and it was beyond the point of no return. Like there was no, I had to, I had to go through this gate at this point. So I go up to the thing, the wind, the little gatehouse, and he's there. He's like, "Hey, Rob." Like, hey, and give him my ticket and stuff. And he says, and he looks down at me. He says, "You don't remember me, do you?" And I'm like, I uh, sure I do, sure I do. Like I don't like. Oh God, really? <laughs> he's like, he's like, you know, he's like, and I'm like, I was like, well, no, I don't more think I said sure. I think I was like, ah, you're right. No, you look familiar. You know, like I. And he's, and then he says like, Miss So and So, like tenth grade. Like he just quotes like, like he's like he's citing a, lo- a legal uh, precedent of some sort. Like you know, Marver <laughs> versus Madison. Like I. Like Miss So and So, tenth grade, and they names a school. I don't know whether it was like Archbishop Curley or so, some school that I definitely it's, didn't go to. Yeah, this is a school you've not been to. Right, but it was local, you know. And at that, and I swear to you, at that, like you just when all those other times I thought like oh, I could get out, right? Like that was that was my time. Oh uh, yeah, this is new. A but new in, door has opened. Right. So instead, I, I was like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. <laughs> I don't know why. Goat tigers, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why. He's like, "How you doing? How you been?" I'm like, "Oh, good. Yeah. How about you?" Oh. And the thing is, is that now you can commit a crime right in front of him, and he'll tell him what? that Rob did. <laughs> so I get to get out. I was like, oh, "Okay, well, I gotta go. It's good talking to you." Blah blah blah. Like I was like, "I gotta go her because I can't hold the story very long. I gotta already right. know. I don't even know why I'm holding the story." <laughs> right. So we. So I, I leave. You know, same situations. They happen. Well, so now I'm trying to avoid him because now I feel like I've, I've like, like <laughs> you're gonna like get I've, quizzed. I've, I've I've broken the seal at yeah. this point. Like he's. We're beyond just like little nods in the hallway. He, there's a connection there, and there's some story. Like I don't know what have we done together. Yeah. Like I don't know. Like what? I'm really worried about this. So, um, I start avoiding him. Like if I see him, I kind of go the other way. If I know he's working down in some part of the building, I don't go into that part of the building. Yeah. If I see him walk into an elevator, I don't, I don't go in that elevator. <laughs> One day, this stressful situation it's super that you created stressful. for yourself. It's so stressful. So one day, one day, I, I, I'm in my office, 
<laughs> and on the other side of the building, on the other side of our office, like complex area on, the, on our floor, this is where my friend's office is. And he calls me, he intercoms me. He's like, Jason, Rob. Jason, pick up. And I'm like, like what? what? He's like, get out of your office. Get out of your office. I was like, what? Why? He's like, the guy's coming. And I think he might have called him Rob at this point. That was just the code word. Like, Rob's got Rob's coming. Yeah. I'm like, no. He was like changing light bulbs or something. Oh, no. <laughs> just, so I had, I like made my, I did, I did make my exit. I made it like through this other door, this like non official exit, entrance exit door. Um, just as I saw him coming down like the hallway with like this box of, of fluorescent bulbs. And, I'm um, visualizing that scene in the Matrix where Neo has is, is got the phone and he's it's ducking like, down between all of the it's like fucking cubicles. It. Go now. <laughs> Turn left now. What do they want? I don't know, and you don't want to find out. You better get out of there. <laughs> so, um, so uh, okay, so that that all happened, um, and uh, that was a long time ago okay recently uh in the past and i may have mentioned this at some other point in our um short little life real quick uh, pushing the hand button um was this when you were in baltimore or this was in baltimore this is all baltimore Baltimore. yeah this is all baltimore this is all this is even pre or right around this has been right around the time maybe it's shortly after alex was born so like it was like like twice like nineteen years ago ish okay. something like that anyway, um, so cut to like in the past year two years. Uh, I go on my walk every day. Yeah. Uh, there's people I pass on a regular basis. This one guy, I don't know whether I've told you about him or not, but this one guy I passed, and at some point he like stops me. This is pre-pandemic, so don't freak out, people. <laughs> right. And he says, like, you must be the most dedicated person. Like, I see you out here every day, sometimes twice a day, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, and he, like, introduces, like, I'm, uh, let's call him Bob. I'm Bob. Like, and mm-hmm. I'm like, hey, Jason, I'm Jason, blah, blah. Good to meet you, blah, 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 all this stuff. Really nice, nice guy. Like, nice retired dude. Okay. All the time. Like, he's working on projects all the time. He's, like, building stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, he's, like, He's the kind of guy, you know, he realized like as he goes throughout the day and he thinks, hmm, if only I had such and such. And then he just goes and builds such and such in his right, garage. Yeah. You know, that kind of guy. Like, and he's and he's like friendly to everybody. Which is a bothersome thing to me because like <laughs> I just want to walk. Right. I don't have time to stop and chit chat. Right. So. Weeks go by, months go by. Months go by, years go by now, like maybe a year goes by. I walk past, I'll pass him with some frequency. I would say maybe, I don't know, at least twice a week. Mm-hmm. I walk every day, at least twice a week. I'm So at least 100 times in the past year, I have passed mm-hmm. him. And every time he has said, hey, Jason, hi, Jason. How's it going, Jason? And you don't know his name. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Not a clue. Not a stinking clue and what his name is. It's too late to ask. <laughs> and well, that's the question, right? Okay, so I've been listening to the Matthew McConaughey biography. Yes. The autobiography, the um, Green Lights, which is fantastic. I do need to read it. Oh, it's so or good. Listen it's, to it. it is. Especially man, since he he records it. Right? He he reads it eight and. Yeah. And, the, and and trust me when I tell you the way he reads it is not the way you would read it. Like the way he no, speaks I don't doubt it that. is not like even though you think you have his head in your voice in your his his voice in your head, you have his mm-hmm. head in your voice as a different problem. It's a um, very weird thing happens there. But uh, it's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. It's great. I think maybe there's a small percentage of people out there listening who, if they listen, might be offended in some spots. But just get over yourself Matthew get, McConaughey? get over yourself already Perish like it, the thought. it's so much fun it's so <laughs> much fun just don't go into it thinking you need to agree with his life choices but i'm telling you like he has this amazingly good head on his shoulders and a fantastic perspective and mm. while i wouldn't always make the same decision you're like yeah i can respect that decision anyway mm. 
I'm listening to this, and and, he, and he's explaining the story. He's telling the story, recalling the story of how a friend of his got sober, and it was he had this conversation uh, with a coach from like I don't know University of Texas or whatever, and uh, he's like goes to the coach for help, and the coach listens, and the coach says, "Look, I like I've never had basically this is like I, I've never had trouble turning the chapter in my life." Mm. And like the next day, the guy gets sober. Like, he's good, mm-hmm. clean. Okay, great. And I'm listening. I think about that. Turning the chapter. Turning the chapter. Turning the chapter. I'm going to turn the chapter. Mm-hmm. I'm. I'm going to. I, I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my bones that Bob's out. I know it. I know it to be true. <laughs> And I'm going to ask him. I'm going to say, you know what? I don't remember your name. What is your name? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be this person. I'm going to stop being Rob. I'm going to start being Jason. And I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to ask somebody. I'm going to ask what his name is. Right. I'm. I mean, I'm geared up. Geared up, Marcus. So I go by his house, and his house is on the on the corner by this lake where I turn and cross and go across. So he's not there. And I'm like, oh, where is he? His garage is open. They're like, where is he? Go around the corner. I see him. I see him. He's at a tree. He's at the tree in his backyard, and he's like doing something. He's got his hands up in the tree, and I can see he's like maybe hanging something. I can't exactly tell what he's doing, but I just and I'm like, and you know, the old me, I'd be like, oh, I'm not going to bother him. Mm-hmm. Not going to interrupt him because I mean, he's in the middle of doing something, right? I certainly want to McConaughey yourself. I have totally McConaughey myself, and so I say. I don't even I don't even say like hey I don't passively say oh I'm in this I say, say all right I all say right. no I didn't go I didn't say that I, I would have been great I say good afternoon strong uh, I mean I didn't even there. get it wrong I didn't say good morning even though it was three o'clock you know I've done that before oh heck yeah um say good afternoon I couldn't say his name uh, but the way this was going to go is he was going to turn around and say, oh, hey, Jason. And I would say, it's good to see you. You know, I, what is your, I cannot remember your name. Can you tell me your name again? That, I was right, I had this all prepared. Uh-huh. He is up like this. He turns around, smiling like a, hey, Jason. He's got something in his mouth because his uh. hands are full. Like screws or something? Or, or twist ties or something. Like, I don't yeah, know what he's doing. Yeah. But at this moment, I realized, like, okay. Conversation, not the time I, like, for that. <laughs> if I do this now, I'm going to get the information I want. Face. But, like, I, I, don't, <laughs> I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the fact that I wouldn't be able to understand what he said. It's like, like, can you say that again? <laughs> It's what? For sure, for sure. For sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs> Could you? <laughs> how do you spell that? I know because I'm thinking this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I can't. I can't force this because one, what if he jokes? And two, like. I'm into. I'm. Cl- I'm totally. Any other day, any of the other 600 days that I, I've passed, like I could have asked him. This was the day, the one day he literally has something in his mouth mm-hmm. that I can't. He and I like. And I'm all occupied. geared up. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> his hands are full, and his mouth. He's got something in his mouth. And that's the day I'm gonna say. I'm gonna turn my chapter and say. So what is your name? And I felt like it was. It was the universe's way of saying like. It was either saying like. <laughs> Turn it back. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. Or it was its way of saying, like, that's not who you are. Like, don't. <laughs> Slow your roll like, there, stop. Rob. Like, don't, that's not who you are. You're Rob. And you know it. You, you like, just own it. Be you. You be you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like, it was really. And then immediately I, I sent you a, I think I sent you a pin immediately. I did. It was Saturday at 2.38. I was over 2.38 p.m. And I said, trying to turn the chapter, oh, but for that yes. bit in the mouth. Actually, it wasn't. Okay, so it, was, was it was earlier that, that day. One. So it wasn't. That was not when I. Or maybe it was when I. Yeah, because we got together, what, like four o'clock? Yeah, that was around the same time. Yeah. 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 Trying, trying to turn the chapter, but for that bit in the mouth. <laughs> 
I was. I was. You also sent me one that was just Rob. Yeah, so that's, that's right. I mean, that's those are the two. That's the that's the bridge. That is. That's the connection. And I and I. Um, there's been other times in my life where I do this sort of thing, and I don't know why. I have trouble with names. Oh um, yeah, I mean, we talked about and, that. But and it could be that his name is Bob, and he's going to say, "Oh, it's Bob," and I'm like. Tru! Ooh, you know what would be cool is if it was Rob and he's the guy the other guy thought you were. <laughs> oh, wait, I just... Oh. That would be cool. That'd be weird. That'd be spooky. Yeah, I know a guy that knows you. I just thought of something else I can do. Oh, to get the guy's name? Yeah. I can just... I can go... I can pull the address up in the public, like... <laughs> in like public documents, can I? Like, can I just <laughs> get a it? subscription to binverified.com and just look up all the dudes' <laughs> no, arrest it's records like and stuff? Information. Like, all you have to do is, <laughs> all I have to do is find my, I go, I, I just have to trace my, my little walkie that I take, right? And mm-hmm. then, um, which I'm doing. And there's a spot where I like make the turn right there. Um, uh huh. See, and then, this is who you are. <laughs> <laughs> I think you found the right chapter. <laughs> I said, no, yeah, it's right. Instead of asking the guy, <laughs> you're in Google Maps. <laughs> Using satellite imagery and public records. <laughs> That's Jason. That's Rob right there. <laughs> But the thing is, I'm yeah, Matthew McConaughey. Like, oh, I love you, Jason. No, you don't, don't turn that chapter. You don't want to turn that chapter. Oh, this is bad. Jason, you can just stay, Jason. Um, uh, I mean, this could go wrong. Like, even if I find this person's name who owns it, like, what if it's, what if it's what not if the running? guy? What if I don't know. Yeah, that, I mean, that could be a problem. And what, if, what if it gives you, like, oh, Christopher I... or William or something like that, and you're like, ooh, is he William? Is he Will? Is he Bill? Oh. Hmm. Do I call him William? Uh. Why isn't it? I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, yes, it's got to be him because it sold, like, it was last purchased in 2009. Uh, yeah, that sounds like him. It's gotta be him, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna find out his name. Cool. That's gonna happen. And then you're gonna have this sort of thrill of nervousness when you first test it out. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> what if chances, you know, pretty slim that you're wrong. But uh, then we got another Rob situation, and he's like. And then he has to make the same decision. You oh, made. wouldn't that Do be? I correct this no, guy. I, I know. I know what decision he's going to make. <laughs> he's going. What? What the hell are you there's, talking about? Yeah, he's going. Oh, my, my name's name. not Murray. <laughs> Murray. Murray's a name for a girl. Um, I don't actually know if that's true. You know any Murrays, okay. really? Mur- I think Murray. I know any Murrays. No, um, Murphy. I know one male Murray. Oh. And, and not well. <laughs> Okay. So I can't they, speak they, to the character of Murray's. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I mean, this is this has kind of been going on throughout my life, though. I've I've realized like um, people will think they know me. They'll say, <laughs> like, like, don't I know you from somewhere? Or you like, aren't you that mm. person? And I'm like, no. Like all my <laughs> life, all not. my life, all my life, I sold a bed. <clears throat> We were selling our bed. When we moved from Colorado back to Maryland, we were selling our, our guest bedroom furniture. I don't know. I love that bed, too. I don't know why I got rid of it. Anyway, we sold this bed, and these people who came to the house to pick up the bed, it was like this mother and daughter who came to the house to pick up the, the bed. All the, all I, saw, like, I answered the door. I showed them where the bed was. And I think, and then they're like, oh, yeah, we like it. And I'm like, okay. And like, and I, I think we had it on Craigslist or something probably. And then like I helped them carry stuff out. And at some point they said, they turned to me, I guess right before they paid me. I don't know. And they said, are you that movie star? They literally said this to me. Like, like, 
And at this point, I should have pulled a Rob. I'm like, well, yes, I am. But no, I'm like, <laughs> no. No, that I can clearly answer. I can't say that I'm not Rob, but I can tell you that I'm not that movie star that you think, who I don't even know. Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's not me. But what I didn't, what I didn't do, which I should have done, is said, and who do you think? Who do you? Think yeah, that's. I was, I was like, oh, I would I have choked, to know I who choked. is it you think I, I am. I choked. I choked. I always <laughs> choke on these things. Yeah, just squash it immediately. No, I am not. I don't, yeah, I that only made that them think fast. that you were. <laughs> Probably, they're like, I just don't am. Oh, he can't, he can't okay, you're him. not that guy. He can't fool us. I mean, that, totally him. Totally him. Um, all right, I did find the website. I'm not going to do it now, but I did find the website for where I'm going to need to uh, look this address up. I'm going to stick this over here. <laughs> and we're going to find out what his name is. And then I may say hi to him. If... <laughs> If now that he found out, yeah, there's no reason to talk to him anymore. This is the gut check. No, now that I find out, you know how I'll know that I'm right because I'll never see him again. Right. That'll be the. He only exists in the universe where I don't know his name, and the minute I know his name, it's like Mitzel Plank. Then, then somebody from across the street comes by and is like, uh, "Did you know Murray? Yeah, he oh, passed away last oh, night. <laughs> no, he's such a nice guy." No. He fell out of a tree and <laughs> swallowed some screws. We heard him yelling, Jason, on his way down. If only Jason knew my name. If he hadn't had real, and if he hadn't interrupted me, I would have gotten this twist tie on properly and I wouldn't have fallen. <laughs> you, he oh. wanted you to speak at his funeral, though. <laughs> I didn't know Murray very well. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, like pull the card out. <laughs> 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 no, no, I could do it. I could. Here's the thing. I'm pretty sure I could pull off a eulogy of sorts. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because he's the a guy nice that was guy. Too awkward to correct the guy. He holds, that his name was he holds court with, the, with, with friends. He's like very. He's like. He's like. Uh, he's uh, he's sort of omnipresent you know within the neighborhood he's mm. he, he he's he's the he's the guy that people won't pass by without saying hi or stopping the chat sharing the good news um you know he he takes things into his own hands when like and and he and he doesn't take anything for granted he he's always kind of doing stuff around the house to improve it and to make sure not just the not just the front of the house but the part of the house that faces away the part that he never sees he's taking care of that part of the house like outside right that means something i dude i could totally do this Awesome. I can <clears throat> let him know next time you see him. <laughs> you know, if you ever if you ever need somebody to like if you're ever picking somebody for to deliver a eulogy, <laughs> I I could be your guy. I can do it. Can what do was it. your name again? <laughs> <sighs> so sad. It's so sad. Um This doesn't happen to you, does it? I, uh, there was a time when I would have been the guy hiding from the dude who thinks my name is the wrong name. Um, yeah, okay. That makes definitely. me feel somewhat better. Um, I, there was like social awkwardness was just, I was imbued with it. It ran through my body like blood. <laughs> um, but, uh, I don't know. There came a time and, and it still kind of rears its ugly head every now and then. But there came a time when I just decided, you know what, I'm I'm not, if I'm going to ask somebody a weird question, I'm just going to ask them a weird question, like, mm. what the hell is your name? I know we've known each other for 35 <laughs> years, but <laughs> I, uh, I have no idea what your name is, and that's why I keep calling you dude and guy and whatnot, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> oh hey man what's going on yeah so i'm like you know but i you know being plagued unless it's somebody I like you know i, well, have I can't a like, you can't neighbors. do it during covid though like i can't stop and talk well, to him during covid that's, that's true the thing. Yeah. and he's a, and i can tell he's not like he's not sensitive to the whole covid thing because i could like i said i would see him holding court and talking to people in closer right. range than should be and so for this past so year i feel like a little I, cavalier about yeah and it's not COVID all my fault you know i mean sure but for the pandemic, I'm sure I would have asked him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sure. 
I mean, I, I've got like the people here in, in my complex that I the interact with in the most, and uh, the people in my neighborhood. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, I, I know them, yeah. I know their names, um, and I interact with them a lot. But there are people that I see every now and then that Emily knows that you don't know, and I do not know. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And I go, ah, oh, that's the like in your in your guy, co- not like on your street or like in the complex area. Or... Yeah, it's just in the in the in the complex. Um, we live in this. You, oh, you've been here, of course, but mm-hmm. to explain to those on the outside, it's a complex of sort of townhomes, and there's about what, one, two, three, four, or five, about six, seven, eight buildings um, in here, each with like three or four of these things, mm-hmm. and so. You see the same people a lot because you're all pulling your garbage to the same place and, you know, you, you're you walking in and out and you're seeing them. And there are also meetings, right? We have a homeowners association kind of thing uh, or town home owners association, whatever. And so you, you run into a lot of these people more than once and you get the feeling that since this is such a small, just square footage wise community, it's not a massive neighborhood. It's, you know, literally you can throw a rock standing on one side and hit the other side. <laughs> you, you'd think you'd need to know all the people. And some people do. Some people are great at that. You know, mm-hmm. oh, that's Bill and, and, and Kathy, and they're mm-hmm. over in, in that building, and then that building is, and the dog's is Bob. And Fluffy, and they got and the... He, he, Bob lost a parakeet mm-hmm. in the war. Mm-hmm. And then it, it, next to him is Audrey and <laughs> Helen, and they knit sweaters for mice. And, you know, <clears throat> people would just know stuff, you know, and they only have to be told who these people are once. And, and it's like, I can maybe get an idea of a person. I'm like, ah, I know your name now. Um, but, you know, and I may not, that may not mean that I know which of these things you live in. And, right. Oh, he's, you know, he's the one that's across from, from Frank. And it's like, well, I don't know Frank. I don't really know Frank. I certainly don't know where Frank lives. <laughs> and now I have to be, I have to remember that this is the guy that lives, that doesn't live where Frank lives. It lives across from where Frank lives. And I don't know where Frank lives. I have no, you might as well have said nothing to me. Yeah. Yeah. Just tell me his name because that's just as meaningful. <laughs> I feel like if you oh, it's like, Charles. Okay, I'm kind of it's a spatial Charles, person, apparently. so like if we if I could map it out, then yeah. I then I would I would remember. I I don't think I've cracked the code. I don't I don't know what it is that I need to do to be better about names. I know. And, what you and, need and to we do. talked about we talked about the stories and stuff. Mm-hmm. And weirdly enough, maybe that works because I know t- Toby. I know. See? I know your neighbors. Yes. <laughs> Maybe that's what we need to do. We'll just learn each other's neighbors' names. There you go. There you and go. then that way, we'll just have and this I'm talking to somebody, and I'll text you real quick. Like, oh, text, text, from, text from Jason. Uh, who's the guy <laughs> <laughs> that we talked about? And you're like, oh, that's that's Frank. We'll just have this I'll wonderfully codependent relationship. <laughs> Great. <laughs> no, I think we should. you need to build a model. Clearly, I need to build, need to build a model, of, model you. of your of your apartment complex. Like a, I'm not apartment. A, your condo, your, your townhouse, your townhouse complex, <laughs> townhouse village, and you have to, um, and you have little people that you put in the build, and you and you. Oh, that yeah, they you won't name think I'm them. a serial killer at all. <laughs> <laughs> you put little flags on them. <laughs> with, their, with their name written on it and you like and yeah and you put the, and then you act out scenes <laughs> hello it's like frank me oh, i'm tired oh. <laughs> good eye <laughs> not my neighborhood oh so my neighborhood, your neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> well i got a i got a better head start on your neighborhood <laughs> And that's, that's not, I know that my friend Mark, who I do know here in the, in the complex, I know he, he listens to the show, so I don't want him to think that I'm talking about him. I no, I've heard only him. good things about Mark. Yeah, this and is, he's yeah. certainly heard all about you just from watching no, I'm so sorry. listening to the show. So I, I may have hit enter and pulled the address up, by the way. 
Uh oh. Well, don't, don't give it out. Then everybody will know that guy's know. name. Do you want to know what his first name is? <laughs> <laughs> if it's Murray, <laughs> I'm going to buy you dinner. <laughs> it's worse than that. What is it? It's first Robert. Name? Robert. Bob. <laughs> Gotcha. So I think it's Bob, but it's like well, it's funny see, that that's Ro- the problem though. Is it Bob? Is it Rob? Is it Robert? Is it Bert? <laughs> you never know. I think I had Bob in my head. You know, like yeah, you all did. This actually, time. Yeah. I had Bob in my head. Subliminally, but you were actually remembering it. I don't think so. I was actually. I think I was actually just remembering it, but I was questioning myself because I can't believe anything that I believe. Like I right. can't like. Surely, you're terrible with names, Jason. Certainly, you can't remember his name. Well, you think it is? Sir, that's not what it no is. There's no way it's from. Would you? Don't even. Don't even. You don't think oh, you can just oh, suddenly, suddenly start you remember names, names, huh? Bob. Okay, yeah, call him Bob. See what happens. Bob. What kind of name is Bob? That's the name you come up when you can't think of somebody's name. <laughs> All this time. All this time. What's up, Bob? He did. He said, I'm Bob. And I remembered it. Well, see, now I know two of your neighbors. (laughs) (laughs) I know. I only know one of yours. And I don't even know where he exists in space and time. Because you Uh, didn't build a model. If you... That's true. I need... Sorry. I need to get on that. He wasn't the neighbor I went to. Like, not by my own. No. Okay. Um, Yeah, I... I don't know that those people. Yeah, they're right next door. I know. Where oh, I'm aware. That was the best when I came over to your place on my own. And I had to think like, oh, wait a second. I'm pretty sure it's this house. The question I had was whether I was on the right street because there's no street name. There's Not no street on the name. the front of the house, yeah. Well, where was I? The street that we're supposedly on, that our address is on, is the yeah. one that's back behind us where the uh i'm not even pointing the right direction it's that where the way. garages um yeah where the garages are well why do they do that well i don't know because there's not a street out in front of in front of the there's house. a street well there's a there's like where the front there's door is court yeah there's like a little court there. there's like a little street oh, you walk oh, down oh. the street like that's the street it's got pavement you've got like entrances to homes that's where your mailbox is located. I guess not where your mailbox is located, but that's where you your mailbox. Our could mailbox, be mailbox is actually the one that's on the other side of the building. <laughs> and we have a mailbox right here, and for whatever reason, we've been assigned a mailbox that's farther away. Oh, really? You allowed that? Yeah. To happen? And we passed a guy whose name I do not know. Um, he was coming from one of the buildings down that way to the mailbox where our mailbox should be. And so we passed each other going to our mailboxes. Maybe you should just trade. I was wondering about that. Can you just do that? Can we just exchange know. keys? Like here, just give each other like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you should talk to the post. I don't, I don't know. I think we sh- you should because I'm getting I mean, stressed it out makes just thinking no about this. sense. That, I mean, if, no. I, if I step outside of my front door, I can, I can throw like an unfolded piece of paper. You're like hit throwing the, a lot of stuff at your neighbors. I know. Tonight. And this yeah. won't even, you can't even throw Rocks, a piece of paper very paper. far. And I, got, I can chuck a scissors over there too. But yeah, <laughs> it's out, uh, Mark. <laughs> it's like so close. And yet that's not where our mailbox is. I don't know who's in these mailboxes. Clearly one of them is a dude that's way over there wondering the same thing. So there are little people in your mailboxes. Could be. Yeah. Maybe that there's some ma- in in the uh, and they maybe that's where some of the mail's been going. That's, that's they, uh, they're eating it. That's right. <laughs> stupid mailbox gnomes. They're not eating it. They're building forts. Like, <laughs> mail eating. forts. Mail oh forts. look, it's another company that wants me to consolidate my debt. Great. Oh, <laughs> I know. I, I got. Fort. I got. So I got an. I, um. I got mail from my mortgage company. It was from the mortgage company with, and it was on yellow paper. You could see through the window, Ooh, yellow yeah. paper. Like, what is this? Right, because that, what does that scream immediately? Something's delinquent. Late payment. Yeah, exactly. I got one of these just the other day. And I'm like, hmm. I open and I know like, oh, it's going to be a, it's going to be a stinker. It's like those letters in, um, in Harry Potter, the, uh, 
that yell at you. <laughs> the yell, yeah, I forget what those are called. The howlers. Howlers, that's it. Um, I open it up, pull it out. It's like, <laughs> immediately, I knew it. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? They're just trying to, like, sell me something. Yeah. I, yeah. And, and then there's the people who send it that makes it look like it's like it makes it look like it's from a, like a, a distance and by distance I mean like six inches. Um, it makes it look like it's a certified letter. Oh, uh, mm-hmm. Those like what are the, what are the, or the ones that illegal. look like uh, um, those checks that get, that get folded up and mailed out and you have <gasps> yes. to tear the perforations Paid in the order off. Of, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. But you gotta go. You know, and pull oh, yeah. a thing like oh, I used oh, to get a paycheck those, like that a looked payroll. like that. Yeah. Like yes. Yeah, those are great. These people suck, man. <laughs> it's like, and it's like the the number one thing you can do that makes me not want to give you money is to try to trick me into opening things. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, man. I don't I send, see what the uh, I, don't send me stamps the, or, or or not stamps. Oh, but don't send right. me those like little return. Those, that's what those mm-hmm. places that they want you to donate money. So they send you something of value, like a value. Like I've been waiting. If only somebody would send right. me these return labels. Right. Return address yeah. labels. And then they come in the mail and and then you're like, oh, but you need to give us money. Or some places will send you, there's another other trick in the book where they'll say, like send you a dollar. Like literally uh, yes. a dollar. Yes. Getting in and, like, and that apparently will make people feel like they need to do something. And I, supposedly it works. I mean, I guess they're doing it for a reason, but yeah, I'm just like, oh, thanks. You gave me 33% of a Coke. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, Coke's a dollar. I feel like that should be more than that now. Oh no! You're, so I think you're thirty-three oh, percent 30, of one. Thir- thirty-three dollars. We were saying three dollars. Three dollar Coke. Yeah. That's expensive Coke, though. Is it? I think well, so. I don't know. We go to Disney World a lot. Oh, that's half a Coke then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> so, like math changes when you enter Disney World. It's hugely. It's, it's like what seemed. What seemed like a bargain somewhere else, or what seemed like a bargain in Disney World? Have you noticed that? Like you go in there, like Dasani water, three dollars and fifty cents, mm. and you're like, oh, that's cheap compared to the soda. Right, right. Well, that's cheap. Then you compared go out to in the real world, and it's like Dasani is a buck seventy five. You feel like a six pack for three. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, it's like the airport effect. There's something that right. happens like when it passes through security. <laughs> Like everything gets more expensive. Because they know you can't go nowhere else. I am right. I mean, I feel like that should be not right, and they shouldn't be allowed to do that. That's price gouging, isn't it? I mean, at Disney, I can't complain because it's like I don't need to be there. Right. But the airport, I literally couldn't bring water through with me unless it was in my belly already. I think that was never an actual threat. I think they made (laughs) that up. Just to like, you know, how we can make some more money make them and i'll tell you another one of the things that that uh like after that and in a long time after those kind of travel restrictions were in place i flew out of the uh the medgar evers airport in jackson mississippi and and there's a starbucks in there but where's the starbucks it's outside of security Uh and i hadn't even thought of that (laughs) i went in there bought the biggest frappuccino i could no, you didn't know. And then no, I walk and I'm Marcus, like, Marcus, no, Marcus. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. So, uh, so, how, yeah, how, so I, how long until your flight? Oh, I, you know, a couple hours. I, oh, okay. I, I tend so to get say, there. You just sat out there and I was not, yeah, I was not, uh, uh, like, well, one wonders if one should still reference OJ Simpson. <laughs> And that's too soon. In the dash nope. through the uh, airport, soon. but uh, um, but yeah, it wasn't one of those situations. I luckily I had enough time to kind of sit down and chill out and and uh, drink my drink outside I, I of. I had uh, Michelle city. once. She was she was traveling somewhere, and she I don't know, she was going back east or what. But she um, she had to connect. We were, we, we were living in California, and she had to she had to connect through San Diego. I think. Mm. And um, and she called me. She's on the phone with me, and she's talking about yeah. I'm you know I'm like I have like a layover. It, just, it was a short layover though. Uh, mm-hmm. It's on Southwest, 
and she's going to get food. And she's explaining to me, I was like, well, don't go, like, you don't, there's not really much to go to there because, you know, it's like all, it's like what you get, what you see is what you get in that terminal. He's like in yeah. the circle there and that's it. Um, and she, uh, she's like, oh no, but there's this thing that's somewhere else. And I'm like trying to tell her, like, no, don't do it. Don't go there. Don't go, don't do that. And she's like, oh, it's right here. I'm like, no, don't do it. And I'm trying to like reach through the phone to stop her <laughs> and she's like what and i'm like you just walked out you have to go back through security now she's like oh no i don't think so uh, <laughs> okay okay so hang up i immediately call my friend jeff who is the friend he's the rob friend right okay yeah. i call him i was like jeff this is what just happened <laughs> and I'm like and he travels a lot at least he did then and um and and I was like, and then she like walked out to get. She's like, oh no, she did. I was like, yes, she did. She's like, oh, she's gonna have to go back through security. I was like, I know. <laughs> sure enough, she texts me like I don't know, fifteen minutes later. She's like, I have to go back through security. <laughs> I hope I make the flight. <laughs> I'll tell you, like, you don't know. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Yeah, you gotta be careful. They have those signs up for a reason that say like. No return entry. Like you got it. Right, like, yeah. It's like it's. Uh, you know what they need to do. You know what the TSA needs to do to What's make that? it more clear. They need to do the same thing that they do when you're renting a car, where they have those spikes of death <laughs> that are like popped up. I mean, I'm afraid to go over those in the correct in the correct direction. I am too. Like when those man, things they're... are up, I'm like, I look back. I'm like, are you? Sh-? After I've like been cleared to leave, and mm-hmm. then the spikes of death, the spikes of doom are like. Standing up, they're like phalanx totally. from hell, right? And I'm looking at this, and I'm like, and I look back at the person, like, are, my, are you sure I'm going the right way? Like, I know there's only one way, but like, there's spikes right here. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't, and, and you they go look over spiky, and you, you know, and you, either all directions, and you and you yeah. and you like go over slowly, like, yeah. So because like I'm gonna get the sure. one where like a. A, a little pebble or something has fallen in there and jammed in the thing and, and it's not going to retract. <laughs> yes. Well, they don't retract. That's the, they take. Or I mean, they, you know, they lay down or whatever. I don't, you know. I don't know. What kind of voodoo is it? <laughs> well, yeah, it's like a spring loaded thing that you can push down if you push it one way, but it will lock into a little slot oh, wait, if you right. go the other I way. I guess so. Have you ever tried to touch it though? No. 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 I, it's well, probably I don't electrified. Think I've ever, it could be. It could be. It's it's the it's Who like knows? one of the they scariest mean. That's the scariest thing on the face of the earth. I would go over barbed wire before I'd like try to walk over one of those things and or something. It's even worse when for whatever reason you're having to go over one in your own car. <gasps> yes. And not just a car that you've rented. Right, because at least then you're like, eh, your problem. I mean Yeah, I, it's like, <laughs> hey, these are your spikes, buddy. Uh, I'm gonna get another <laughs> car, thank you very much. Um <laughs> Yeah, like that's that's what they need. Though. That's what TSA needs to do. They need to make like put that kind of stuff up. Like you know, you on the ground. Because if that's on the ground, you're you're gonna be darn so if sure. You pale your feet. You're gonna be the- you're gonna be darn sure that you need to be on the other side of that. Like right? like you're like hmm. I don't know about that frappuccino. I don't. I don't think it's worth it. I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna risk it. I don't think like a door with a little thing and it's like you push the door open and, and it's like when you're deleting something from your computer I think goes are you sure <laughs> like, <laughs> you want to go out this door am I like, to go out the, hmm. you must type well, delete in all, all caps <laughs> like, right okay <laughs> you must put exit security in all caps like I, I thought I was sure well, no, I no. feel like it doesn't want me to. I feel like you know. I feel like you don't think I is. I can remember his name is Bob. <laughs> Are you sure it's? If you think his name's Bob, write it in all caps and press <laughs> enter, and then the spikes pop up, and you're like. <laughs> and then Matthew McConaughey wants you to turn a new chapter. All right, all right, all right. It's such a good book. It's such a good book. I, I need it. I need to read it. You really do, and you need to listen to it. To it. But yeah, here's, oh, here's that's the, one you definitely need to listen. Here's the brilliance, though. Like, if I ever write an autobiography, which I most certainly won't, if I ever do, though, it would it, they're going to do just like he did it. Yeah? Because yeah, you get because him to read it. he's because he he 
he reads it in a way that is it's it's not just active voice he is participating it is like Mm -hmm. it is like he's standing in the living room like with you know doing the jerry Maguire thing where he's got like the the poker for the fireplace like swinging it around and like mm-hmm. like telling you the story and you were just like sitting there so he's not even reading he's just telling you this. He's, he's like telling you the stories right yeah, yeah and I he's even and he's even like laughing and 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 <laughs> but then he, but he inserts stuff in there these little bumper sticker moments poems other things that make you want to go get the book Right, because so you get those bits. Yeah. Because you want those bits. You want the oh, I want to dog ear that. I want to. Yeah. I don't want to see that. I want to write. Yeah. Or pictures. He's referenced pictures a couple times. I'm like, oh. what I want to. Well, what I want to see is your autobiography, read by Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> so it's like Matthew McConaughey's sort of air <laughs> and personality. Put to your neurotic <laughs> thoughts and all of that stuff. It'd be so much, it'd be so much weird cooler. combination. It would be so much cooler. He would make like all the stupid stuff sound <laughs> awesome. That's the thing about Matthew McConaughey. And he kept calling me Rob. <laughs> <laughs> and I just let him do it. 